Hello everybody, welcome to the DES2 Unit 9 Fasting Devices and Methods by Todd Frazee. Fastening Devices and Methods Fastening devices are used to hold two or more pieces together. Many fasteners include screw threads. Fasteners such as pins, keys, Rivets and clips use friction instead of thread features for fastening. There are three major methods of fastening. Mechanical fastening, process that uses manufactured device to hold parts together. Bonding, process that uses material to hold parts together, such as adhesives. And forming, processes that rely on the shapes of components to hold them together. Threaded fasteners. Threaded fasteners use a helical shape to mechanically fasten. Threads either engage material or match a complement thread helix. The unified thread Unified Screw Thread Standard was developed to ensure screw thread compatibility after the Second World War and was adopted by Canada, the United States, and England. Thread Fastener Applications Joining is connecting two or more parts together temporarily or permanently. Adjusting Fastener Thread used to locate or modify the position of a part or power transmission to transmit force in the direction of rotation. Threaded terminology part one. Axis is the center line that passes through the screw thread center. Chamfer an angular relief at the last thread that facilitates the mating of the thread with its opposite thread. Crest is the peak of the screw thread profile form. Depth, the distance between the crest and the root of the thread. Part two, a die. A die is a tool that can be used to form or cut external threads. An external thread is on the outside of a shaft or a cone. An internal thread is on the inside of a hole or a bore. Lead is the distance a thread will travel with one revolution. Thread terminology part three. Major diameter is the largest diameter on a thread. Minor diameter is the smallest diameter on a thread. The pitch is the distance between points on adjacent thread forms. And the pitch diameter is a imaginary cylinder equidistant between the major and minor diameter. Thread terminology part four. The root is the bottom of the screw thread form. The side, it's the screw thread surface that connects the thread, crest, and the root. Tap, a tool used to make internal threads by either cutting or forming the material. Tap drill. The drill size correctly to pr proceed a tap system. Thread, threaded terminology part five. Thread angle, the angle between two adjacent threads. Thread form is the profile or shape of the thread cross section. Thread series is the number given of threads per inch for a given diameter. And threads per inch, or TPI, 
is the number of threads in one inch measured parallel to the axis of the thread in the English system. Specifying threads in the English system. The elements that are required for an English system thread specification are one, the thread form, two, the thread series, three, the major diameter, four, the class of fit, and five, the threads per inch or TPI. Thread form part one. The thread form is the shape or profile of the thread. Examples include sharp V friction applications. Uh, it was the first thread developed in the United States. And this was replaced shortly after by the American National thread, which has a flat thread crest and root, reducing the friction on the thread. The united thread rounds out the root and crest can be rounded or sharp. And this standard replaced the American National standard, but is very similar. And the United National Round has a, is rounded at the root and crest. The thread form is the shape or profile of the thread. Examples also includes the isometric, isometric form, which is similar to the UN thread, but has a shallower root depth and all the dimensions are called out in metric. The ACME thread, which is used primarily to transmit power, as is the square thread. The buttress thread can also be used to transmit power, but has also been used in high pressure applications. And the knuckle thread is designed to be formed or cast from a sheet and is common in light bulbs and water bottles. Thread series. The thread series for unified scred, screw threads refers to the standard TPIs in four categories for different applications. The first is the course, abbreviated C or the full abbreviation UNC, is a coarse thread pitch and they're good for quick assembly, dirty applications, and stronger and they're stronger in ductile materials such as stainless steel and aluminum. Fine, abbreviated as F or UNF, is a stronger thread in non-ductile materials and applications subject to vibration. Extra fine or EF, abbreviated as UNEF, are for applications with short engagement lengths and high stress. And the final fourth one is the constant pitch. It's a numbered series using numbers 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 20, 28, and 32 for special applications. In most uh, instances, it's for high pressure or large diameter threads. Thread class of fit. There are three classes of fit established by ASME ANSI standards. Class one is a loose fit for quick assembly and adjustment between parts is required. Class two is your general purpose, high quality thread, like you would find in a commercial hardware store for nuts, bolts, and screws. Class three is a very high quality with close fit for high vibration or pressure applications. Single and multiple threads. Single threads are the most common. It has a single helix with a pitch that equals the lead. For each revolution, the thread pitch advances the distance of one pitch. Multiple threaded 
or two or more threaded helixes that run side by side. For each revolution, the thread advances by the number of threads in the helix. So in the example, we have a triple helix thread, which would advance three times the pitch for one revolution. Thread handedness. Right hand threads are standard and they tighten clockwise. All threads are assumed to be right handed unless otherwise noted on the drawing. In the example on the right, it's a left handed thread that tightens counterclockwise. They are rare, but it's denoted by an LH at the end of the thread note. And they're used in applications, special applications. For example, my table saw, the nut that holds the blade on, is a left-handed thread, so it self-tightens as the motor spins the blade. Thread pitch. The pitch is equal to one divided by the number of threads per inch. The pitch can be measured with a scale or a pitch gauge as shown on the right. In the example, there are eight threads in the span of one inch. So in that, this example, with both the gauge and the scale, the TPI would be eight threads per inch. Thread notes. Threads are represented symbolically and require thread notes that include a major diameter, threads per inch, the form, the series, the class of fit, and in, in a symbol for internal or external designation. In the example on the right, the major diameter is 0.5 inches or half an inch with 13 threads per inch with a united unified national form series course with a thread class fit of three and B stands for internal. Qualifying information for special thread app application conditions may also occur as in our example with the left-handed thread represented by the LH at the end of the call out. Thread grades. Threaded fastener grades denote the strength of the fastener material. SAE rates UN series fasteners from one to eight. SAE metric fasteners are rated on a scale from 4.6 to 12.9. Both systems represent higher strength with higher grade numbers. Specifying threads in the metric system. Elements required for an ISO metric system thread specification are similar to the UN system. It must be accompanied by a thread form symbol, M or J, M standing for metric, J standing for modified metric. The nominal diameter size in millimeters, the pitch in millimeters, and general purpose tolerance may also be shown. Basic metric thread notes. The basic thread notes for metric specification include the thread, threaded form symbol M or J. M for metric or J for modified metric, followed by the nominal diameter size in millimeters and the thread pitch separated by an X. In the example on the right, we have a metric thread that is 24 millimeters in nominal diameter size with a thread pitch of two threads per millimeter.
The complete metric thread notes add more information on the tolerance class. This tolerance class includes crest tolerance and position, pitch diameter tolerance and position, and internal threads are denoted by an uppercase letter and external by a lowercase number. So in the example on the right, their uppercase H's denote an internal thread. In the example on the right, we have a metric six millimeter nominal diameter bolt with a pitch of one thread per millimeter and the tolerance class is 4H5H, which controls the tolerance of the thread of an internal thread. Representing threads on drawings. Threads can be represented in three ways on technical drawings. The first is a detailed view, which draws a pictorial representation of the thread. Two, schematic, which shows a reduced representation of the thread using thin lines that are the same length as the major diameter and the solid dark lines that are shorter in between represent the minor diameter. Or simplified, which the threads are the major and minor diameter are represented by hidden lines. Schematic representation of threads. A series of thin lines spaced at the thread pitch with equal, links equal to the thread major diameter. If the pitch is too close to represent, use a spacing of 1 8 of an inch. And a series of thick lines with links equal to the thread minor diameter that are equally spaced between the thin lines, as shown in the example on the right. Simplified representation of threads. For external threads, the major diameter is represented by solid lines. The minor diameter by hidden lines in the end and side views. Internal threads, the minor diameter is represented by solid lines in the end view, and the major diameter by hidden lines in the end view. All diameters and depths are represented by hidden lines in the side view, as shown on the right. There are four general types of standard threaded fasteners. Machine screws, fasteners with a thread on one end and a head on the other to drive the screw. Bolts, which are when a nut is added to a screw, it becomes a bolt. Set screws that are used to prevent rotation or movement between parts. and studs, a threaded shaft without a head that joins two parts. The textbook talks about five types, but I've collapsed the cap head screw and the machine screw into the same category. Standard nuts. The standard uh, basic nuts are the square nut, the hexagon nut, and a jam nut. The jam nut differs from the hexagon nut because the thread is intentionally machined at a slight angle from the face so that when it is used in conjunction with a standard hexagonal uh, nut, it applies pressure and keeps it from loosening. But there's also a variety of variations um, and we'll let you peruse the manual in the book or 
The Machinery's Handbook is an excellent resource for the specifications for the standard nuts. Standard machine screws. We have our hex head, our flat head, the round head, the filister head, which can have a variety of drives, either slotted or Phillips, or even like the hex socket head, a recess that's either a socket for a hex or a star torx type fastener driver. There's also a plethora of other options, and in most cases they are termed screws unless used with a nut, unless the fastener itself is designed only to be used with a nut. Standard set screws. Set screws are designed differently to apply pressure on a surface. So there's a flat point and an oval point. They come with a variety of heads, but the flat point and the oval point are designed to apply pressure to a flat surface or near flat surface without applying uh, deformation to that surface. In the example on the right, one of the set screws has a square head. The other one has a slotted head. For convex surfaces, the cut point and for the concave surfaces, the cone point uh, provide the best grip on the surface. In the example on the right, the cup head point set screw has a hexagonal socket head and the cone point has a fluted head socket. And the final types of uh, set screw tips are the dog point and the half dog point, which are designed to uh, interface with a slot in the mating part and can be used for adjustment, allowing the tip of the set screw or the dog to slide back and forth and then be tightened to hold position. In the example on the right, the dog point set screw has a slotted head and the half dog point has a socket hex head. Locking devices. There are many locking devices um, designed to keep fasteners from coming loose. Retaining rings snap into an internal or external groove. Spring washers apply pressure or resistance to the fastener head. And castle nuts use a cotter pin or a wire to prevent the nut from rotating. And as we talked about before, the jam nuts apply pressure to a standard nut to prevent rotation. Non-threaded fasteners part one. Non-threaded fasteners can include pins that locate and prevent slippage between parts, keys that prevent slippage between rotary components for power transmission, rivets, which are metal pins with a head used to assemble parts permanently and hold the two hold the components together through deformation and friction of the rivet. Non-threaded fasteners part two is uh, the plane washer. It's used to imp improve the assembly surface and increase strength of the fastener that it's mated to. And lock washers that prevent fasteners from coming loose during vibration. That concludes this presentation and we'll catch you on the next one.